you, Kate. And thank you to Databricks and the Summit organizers for having me here. I'm very excited to share Capital One's story of how we spread Spark across the enterprise and found success in transforming our data operations and our culture around data as well. If you don't know Capital One, we're a diversified financial services company. We have offices all around the country, including about a block away here in San Francisco where I work. You may know us from our catchy credit card commercials. Unfortunately, Samuel L. Jackson wouldn't join me today. To learn more about Capital One, it's helpful to learn or look to our still CEO and co-founder, Rich Fairbank. As he said here, Capital One was founded on our ability to disrupt financial services through the data and technology revolution of the time. While you often think about banks as these old, kind of stodgy, traditional institutions, I won't name any of those, uh, Capital One actually IPO'd in 1994, um, and we've been building upon the leading data technology of the time ever since. I lead a product management group in our US credit card business. We're focused on producing, delivering services, platforms, products that enable our credit card business and our enterprise to better take advantage of data, to customize products, support customer experiences, and improve our operations. And in that job, I lead currently the largest Apache Spark projects within Capital One. And I want to tell you kind of how we got there. In order to do that, I need to take you back several years. Like many financial institutions that were built and scaled on the previous technology paradigms of the day before AWS cloud computing, distributed computing, and streaming systems, we faced a lot of infrastructure problems as we tried to embrace the digital revolution and transform ourselves into a digital first bank. As a company that used data at the heart of everything that we did, this had a pretty meaningful impact on our business. It meant lost revenue, reduced efficiency in our marketing or targeting spend, higher operational costs with systems that weren't able to work together well effectively. And of course, that impacted our associates as well. As our systems aged, our associates became less efficient, less able to focus on innovative new ideas that would further disrupt the industry. But beyond that, we started to realize that they had become kind of siloed in different technology paradigms, unable to work together really effectively, too often throwing problems over the fence to somebody else. And so we, needed, we knew that we needed to change this paradigm, invest not only in removing the technology limitations that you saw previously, getting rid of mainframes and things like that, but also transform our culture and continue to maintain a leading culture of analytics and data. And so we got started. Uh, we formed a very cross-functional, unified group between product, engineering, data science, and analytics. And this is really critical to our success. You know, we tested and prototyped, got our hands dirty with new technologies like most would when doing some kind of evaluation like this. And ultimately, we ended up deciding to build around Apache Spark. The decision was fairly easy at the time. It was the most active open source data project. The, the project itself was moving forward quickly um, to the point around unifying different paradigms. We liked that it allowed for development in Java and Scala for our engineers, in Python for data scientists, and SQL for many of our analysts. More important than the choice of one specific technology, though, was the approach that we took to the project. And that's what I really want to emphasize here today. It was the way in which we built a unified team, the way in which we applied a product lens to everything that we were doing, treating our internal associates as customers, deeply understanding their needs and building around those. And additionally, not assuming that we are smart enough to build some kind of scaled out enterprise-wide platform right away. We are dealing with a new technology paradigm and we are aware sort of of our own ignorance and the need to build use cases ourselves, and through those use cases, let the design of any products or platforms emerge. And of course, when we first started building those use cases ourselves, we ran into a number of problems. Uh, we started by rolling our own open source Apache Spark infrastructure offering. We were relatively new to AWS, and thus we started running into problems around infrastructure automation, resilience, and scalability. Beyond that, we found that our associates that were new to working with Spark, and really just new to AWS and some of these new paradigms, had a learning curve. Um, there was a lot that was new for them. 
And so we could clearly see that there was going to be a lot of return on investment and value from creating some central products or platforms that would accelerate the learning curve, accelerate the time to delivery and value for any new strategy. But we also, having worked on a few use cases, started looking at the diversity and complexity of our business and realized we didn't have the depth of understanding, subject matter expertise, resources, or even time for where we wanted to get to, to do all of that ourselves. And so we reevaluated our ecosystem. While we wanted technology and processes that better unified our culture around data, we also knew that we needed to optimize and tailor solutions towards particular people and personas and customers within our company. And so we did this rough split, uh, focusing on one hand on operations and another hand in parallel on analytics. To tell you a little bit about operations at Capital One, these are our business critical applications powering our customer experiences, ensuring that we're fulfilling on our promises to customers and to our regulators. So it's incredibly important that we get everything right and maintain an extremely high bar for success. On the other hand, we have the analytical domain. And what was really important here was the ability for our data scientists and analysts to iterate really quickly, to collaborate effectively with their colleagues, to test and prototype with the latest techniques emerging in the open source community so that we could continually reinvent our business. And so with operations, we continued on the path that we were on. We built a shared application framework that made it easier for engineers who were new to Spark to get started and build out powerful data operations. On the other hand, with analytics, we needed something that would ultimately eventually scale to a couple thousand analysts and associates that make up Capital One's data community. And we didn't have the expertise into how to build that sort of both you know, interactive, easy to use, and scalable platform. And so we partnered with our friends here at Databricks to offer a unified analytics platform. And we went about over the next few years and continuously investing in and reinventing these strategies. We aligned on a product philosophy that I sort of borrowed and tweaked from Nathan Mars, which he called suffering-oriented programming. We didn't want our associates to suffer, but it was important that we embrace the right philosophy to get the best products out to our customers. We focused first on proving out transformative new capabilities for our associates. This often meant staying at the leading edge of the open source project. When Spark 2.0 came out and structured streaming was enabled, we were testing and building use cases before it was considered production ready. And as it was, we had that functionality rolling out to our associates to embrace the ability to easily switch between batch and streaming. Second, we focused on removing technical debt, scaling our systems effectively, making them performant, and starting to build some early tooling that would uh, attract more people, broaden the impact of our work beyond the early adopters. In this way, we did two really big things. We created a few abstractions on top of Apache Spark. One, a JSON uh, DSL, which essentially allowed us to build operational applications and submit instructions to it via a simple configuration file, uh, which had the added benefit of creating some more governance around our work, which is really important in a regulated company where we separated the business intent from the underlying functional Spark code. Additionally, we built an easy-to-use automated reporting system that allowed our, our analysts to get important insights to executives faster. And we embraced the open source model for development, which means we not only opened up our code base to developers to use, but we allowed the ingenuity of our associates across the company to commit functionality back to our core systems, or from the analytical side, commit common code um, that could be used across a range of use cases back to a shared repository or, or stockpile of code for other data scientists to benefit from. And last, we focused on making things easy, creating great customer experiences, working with Databricks to optimize our onboarding process for new analysts and, and data scientists and really spread the impact and enlarge in the return on investment that we could get through these platforms. Ultimately, this led to a vast ecosystem around Apache Spark within our company, with Spark as a primary data compute layer for many operations and analytical practices. 
This doesn't illustrate the entire ecosystem, uh, which I wouldn't want to show on this page. But um, what it does show is the great value and power of a unified technology like Apache Spark. The fact that it can sit in the middle of all of these technologies and offer value. And we saw that value pretty quickly as our associates went about reinventing our operations and reinventing core business practices across a wider range of domains. You know, as I just said, you know, this really shows the massive return on embracing Spark and spreading it across your organization. The fact that you can use one shared technology across such a wide range of domains. I'll call out a few. Uh, ETL may not be the sexiest area, but it's incredibly important to getting data to the systems where we need it to be and driving decision making and insight generation across the company. And we were able to rebuild hundreds of ETL jobs, move them into the cloud, make them more performant or, or real time. We built a self-service and automated marketing and segmentation platform to enable our associates to get new personalized strategies out to customers more quickly. And we enabled easy access to machine learning, enabling credit analysts to detect new changes in the market more quickly, allowing uh, machine learning engineers to build new powerful fraud protection systems that are protecting customer identities today. And lastly, we helped achieve much of our goal of creating better jobs for our associates, allowing them to focus on new and more innovative ideas, leveling them up in their productivity and in their efficiency, and importantly, allowing them to collaborate more effectively. Even though we still had some difference between operation and analytics due to the important differences of, of, of running those areas within a regulated company, the shared technology paradigm allowed associates to talk to each other on a common ground and helped reinforce our operational model of small, cross-functional, cross-skilled, and empowered teams. So as I end, I just want to reemphasize a few of the important product management lessons that we had on this effort. First of all, focus on your customers. It's easy when trying to introduce a new technology to a large enterprise to focus on abstract technology principles or go directly to trying to build out some kind of large-scale enterprise platform. But it's easy to make mistakes. So focus on not only the broad platform needs, but the unique needs of individuals and embed flexibility in everything that you do. Also, learn through doing. Start small, iterate, follow agile principles. Embrace your community. Be aware of your own ignorance and trust in the ingenuity and the creativity of your enterprise and allow them to, to join with you in that journey. And lastly, take a unified approach. Pick technologies that help you unify your approach to data and to operations, but also build a big tent. Bring in leaders from across different domains within your company and take their feedback and their expertise into account. Thank you for having me here today. I'm really excited to be part of this amazing Apache Spark community, and I'm excited to see where this community and the project in Databricks will continue to head. Thank you.